Hi everybody, hope you had a nice weekend. Nice to see you again. So today, whether you knew it or not, is another holiday. But it's again one of those unofficial holidays, so not one that everybody knows about. And I actually just learned about it too. I'm really excited to share it with you. Today, May 18th, is International Museum Day. Now let's think for a second. Do you remember what international means? Is that just one country or is that Yes, it's all over the world. Today's that one day that everybody knows about the same holiday. So International Museum Day is just kind of what it sounds like. It's visit a museum. But since we have to pretty much stay at home, I was thinking about maybe going on a virtual museum tour. And good news is on the computer, you can find so many museums that you can see through your computer. And I'm going to give you the link to one of those museums. And you can go, maybe you want to go to Egypt and see the pyramids. Maybe you want to go to Italy and see the Colosseum. Well, maybe you even want to go to the Louvre in France. There's so many big choices. So when I was thinking about all of these museums, you know what I was thinking about? I was thinking about all the time that we were spending talking about reducing, reusing, and recycling. And because I love to make art all the time, and one of the things that I love to do is reuse some of the old materials that could be thrown away, but I like to use them and keep them so I don't have to make much trash. And you know what I was thinking? There's some artists that I know out there that collect some garbage that they find like in the oceans that are hurting the world a little bit. They're collecting those materials and making art out of it. And there's one artist specifically, she lives all the way in Oregon. Let's look again to see where that is. That's right, all the way on the West Coast. We live on the East Coast. And in Oregon is where she lives. And she does a really special thing. All of the plastic and the trash that washes up on the shore in Oregon where she lives, she collects it, cleans it off, and looks at it. And you know what she does? She kind of looks at the material and looks at maybe what it could become. And she makes all of these amazing sculptures out of all of these plastic materials that are hurting the world and hurting the oceans because that's not good for anybody it's not good for us it's not good for the animals that need the water and she is saving all of those materials and actually making animals out of them so sometimes she might find things that maybe look like a shark and she'll use those materials to make a shark or maybe a pelican but she uses them to make other animals a lot of the time animals that you would see around beaches. And the really amazing thing about that also is it's so, it's striking. People that see that then are thinking about like, wow, those are the birds, those are the animals that we should be thinking about and saving. And then she makes them out of those materials. So it's a very, very special thing. And I'm really excited to be able to share that with you because we've been talking about that so much. So that artist is also really special because she doesn't buy any materials, right? Because does she need to buy any? She finds all of them on the beach, so she's making no trash because she doesn't need anything to make her art, right? Because she's finding the things for free. And she's cleaning up parts of our world. And even extra, she's helping people see how much plastic and how much trash they make all the time. So I think it is such an important thing to know about. So I'm going to share that with you because I'm really excited about it. So here's what I'm thinking. At home, let's take a look around, see if you can go on a, a scavenger hunt for an art project and see if you can make something out of other materials that you find in the house. So we can all be at home artists today and every day. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what you make.